Hello everyone, in today's video I wanted to talk about the two new Atlas Keystones that will come in patch 3.22 and how they will impact the game. First one is a Delirium Keystone, Unending Nightmare. Delirium fog in your maps never dissipates. Delirium orbs cannot be found in your maps. Simulacrum splinters cannot be found in your maps. As you can see, if you take this keystone, it no longer matters how fast you are. You are trading delirium orbs and simulacrum splinters for the ability to farm cluster jewels and other rewards on your time. Which means that weaker and slower clearing builds now can effectively farm delirium with a trade off. Let's go over the Legion keystone, Timeless Conflict. Legion encounters in your maps have no timer, breaking out monsters and chests that are in. Stasis progressively causes a schism. Legion encounters in your maps begin once the schism has occurred. And let me quickly explain to you how does the schism from the Timeless Conflict Atlas Keystone work. While you have Timeless Conflict allocated on your Atlas skill tree, breaking out monsters and chests from stasis will contribute progress towards a schism as shown by a progress bar. This is the progress bar down here. Once the progress bar is full, the schism will occur and the legion encounter will begin. Breaking out monsters and chests with rewards or more powerful monsters will contribute more progress towards the schism. This Atlas Keystone once again allows you to clear the Legion encounter on your own time. So, as we can clearly see, GGG makes it possible to farm these mechanics, which are very clear speed dependent with a build that does not focus on clear speed. I think these nodes are a very good addition to the game, since not everybody wants to focus on speed and damage. Players that want to focus on being tanky and have higher survivability rather than being fast will greatly benefit from these nodes. And as far as I know, these are just additions. Nothing gets taken away from faster clearing builds. They just make it possible to run the mechanic with a slower clearing build. What is your opinion on these keystones? Do you think they are a good addition to the game or not? Let me know in the comments. Alright, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching it until the end. Bye.